Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and today, I'm talking about Hytale again, and this is going to be a little different of a video. So for those of you that don't know, I am the owner of a Minecraft server called Subiocraft. I've been running it for years with the help of the awesome staff. I started it with my friend Glenn back in like 2013, and now that Hytale is coming out and it has the modding capabilities that it has, I think I'm going to take a whack at it. I'm going to try and make my own... Hytale server network and I'm gonna program a bunch of the I don't know if you could call them mods or plugins, but I would love to be the owner of a Hytale server network called Subio so I'm today I'm gonna be talking basically about the modding capabilities I'm gonna talk about my plans for this network <clears throat> and I would hope that a lot of you guys are gonna be super duper hyped and would want to join on maybe even day one. If I get access to developer tools early, I might be able to get something set up for you guys on day one of Hytale's release. How amazing would that be? So, starting off, I think there's going to be three pillars to Subio. The first of which being an RPG-based single player. So for those of you that don't know, Hytale is not planned to have levels, perks, experience or um <clears throat> similar rpg elements and like character classes it is going to be more like minecraft in the way that um how far you are in the game is dictated by your gear which there's nothing wrong with that it's just that's the type of game it is for example right you find a really powerful battle axe and that's like the weapon that you now have instead of being inherently a battle axe type of character that has bonuses with that weapon or whatever and having like a, a a perk or a skill and like many levels of experience it's not going to be like that but on my server i plan to make that a thing so for example there will be leveling up there'll be xp for killing mobs and then it'll be um you'd be able to get perks and skills and there'll be inherent character traits and character classes and i think it'd be freaking amazing so that's going to be the first pillar of subio uh, there's not much else other than that. I think there will be community-run events as well, and a thriving economy, hopefully. And it will be very similar to the experience there is right now on Subiocraft Survival on in Minecraft, except it will have... Hopefully, Hytale will have the capabilities in modding to allow new uh, user interfaces other than inventory menus. I think it will. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be really exciting anyway. The second pillar of Subio, I think, should be Blockshot. So Blockshot is planned to be a minigame very similar in style to Call of Duty. So it will be a run and gun type of minigame where um, you start out your game, you pick a class, you can save custom classes, there will be a selection of weapons of, you know, SMGs, um, rifles, I'm not gonna say any more demonetization words, but you know what I mean. Uh, maybe they'll even be given different names so that uh, we can avoid demonetization if people make videos on it, but um, that is the plan because I have been a long time Call of Duty fan and I think the series started to go downhill with Advanced Warfare. The game itself was good, it wasn't received very well, but all the games that came after it have been met. So I think in um, Hytale, making block shot the most responsive uh, gunplay um, run and gun respawn game that I can make. I think that would be amazing. And of course, there's more to it than responsiveness. I think uh, one of the games that I should should look at is uh, MW2. For those of you that have played MW2, it's all about how overpowered everything is. Like every weapon is able to like two or three shot somebody and the gunplay is extremely satisfying and fair, I would say, except for the um, one-man army and noob tubes, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> I think something like that made in Hytale could be really popular, and I think it could be something that's a lot of fun. I want a new competitive minigame to dump my time into, and I'm not afraid to play my own game, guys. Even though I'm going to be the one developing the whole thing, at the end of the day, it still requires... In the, it's supposed to require the same skills that it took to uh, to play Call of Duty. So that's what I'm going to try. Um, 
I think it's going to be really neat, my own little spin on Call of Duty. And how complicated can it be? I mean, coding it, the most difficult part is going to be the weapons for sure. And, but as we saw in the trailer, you are going to be able to import um, a 3D model. Uh, and then you can animate that model, so reload animations and whatnot. And then you can script it. So then you can have a ray trace from the end of the barrel to um, the target or whatever. Won't need to implement bullet drop. It's too short range for that. Doesn't need to be that realistic. It's mostly a party fun type of game. So it's not really going for realism. So there might be lasers. There might be, um, you know. I I'm super excited for block shot though. I think that's going to be a staple of Subio. And then the third game mode. As you guys are watching right now, um, Bed Wars is a very popular game mode in Hypixel, and it's my personal favorite. And I figured, what if I put my own spin on Bed Wars and made it my own in something that is different but similar? So, like, something that would be a new breath of fresh air, if you will, but it would still be really good. So, for me, it is an unnamed game mode. I do not know what it's called yet, but it will involve all the players being uh, space miners. So like, they will be part of like some galactic like mining operation, they're gathering resources, and the way that it would work in the minigame is that every player will have their own little mini ship, and they will land on an asteroid, a small asteroid. And then the way the map will be set up is that there's like 8 to 12 um, asteroids floating around in space in a spherical shape and then one big sphere in the middle. So like one big asteroid. So it'd be the equivalent of having all the islands on the edge of a Bedwars map and the uh, and mid. But the difference is it's in space. So the actual like spacing between the islands is going to be three dimensional. So there will be a literal sphere of islands instead of like a disc of islands. So like some islands are going to be higher than others and then gravity will change depending on which sphere is closest to you. Super Mario Galaxy has a very similar um, feature to this. So gravity will depend on the, I'm going to call them planetoids, <laughs> depending on which planetoid you are currently standing on or close to. And the gravity will change depending on certain environmental aspects. <clears throat> so I think what would be really neat in this game mode is that, um, for example, all of the ships will be powered by solar. And there will be a big sun in the background. But what if midway through the game there was an eclipse. And the, um, and the sun wasn't visible for like a minute or so. And all of the power shuts off for all the ships. So like no longer will they be able to smell things or generate <clears throat> weapons. I think that'd be really neat too. But on another staple of the game mode is that there'll be a cloning machine and that will be your way of respawning, similar to a bed. And uh, if somebody comes to your ship and breaks your cloning machine, then you can no longer respawn. So maybe not even a cloning machine, maybe all the characters are robots and it's like the assembler or something. Who knows what the theme would be, but that's the mechanic at least. So then each ship will have a, a smelter in it. So it'll have like a, I think I used a specific word. Oh, it has like a, well, yeah, it'd have a smell tree. So each ship would have a smell tree. And then that's what you would use to bring materials to it and then craft things. So inside of your starting um, planetoid or asteroid, you can mine materials. So you'll spawn with a pickaxe. You would be able to mine the ores inside of your planetoid. And then bring them to the smeltery and use it to craft things like a grappling hook or like a sword or a crossbow or something like that. Or maybe even a shield. <laughs> and then the other aspect, so there'd be materials to gather and then there'd be fuel. So you can gather fuel and then maybe fuel could dictate a shield of some sort. Who knows? Um, but that is the idea. And then there'd be more dense materials in the middle, um, asteroid. So that is the idea for my, um, unnamed space PVP game mode. I think if possible, this one is going to be with a grain of salt because I don't know if on the fly gravity changing is a feature that is possible with the current modding tools in Hytale. If it's possible, oh boy, are we in for something fun. 
So yeah, that is the idea so far. So in Hightail, there's going to be two PvP slash um, minigame type of experiences. And then there's going to be one long-term slash RPG experience. And again, the server is going to be called Subio. Uh, so I hope you guys are hyped. If you have any other ideas for the server, make sure to let me know. And I hope to see you guys at day one. Are there any other servers you guys know of that are going to be day oneers? Let me know in the comments down below. And if, of course, if you have any ideas, then I, that would be greatly appreciated as well. Do you think my game mode is going to be possible uh, using the modding tools? I have no idea. Well, anyway, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.